In today's health news, researchers are touting the health benefits of drinking coffee. Recent studies pointing to the positive effects of coffee and how it can reduce the risk of some cancers and other diseases. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandi is here with us now to talk about what the research has shown for one of our favorite drinks. I have a cup every day, sometimes two. How about you? Yeah, I, I have a cup at least, right? So <laughs> we are a lot of pros and cons, Simon, about drinking coffee. But this latest research is good news for people like you and me, millions of Americans who need that cup of joe to get their day started. In fact, experts are calling coffee, get this, a mini version of the Mediterranean diet. That's big. And that's because they're both plant-based and the health benefits of coffee far outweigh the potential risk. Just like the popular diet that limits red meat and fat intake. Now, Texas A&M University professor Stephen Safe, who specializes in cancer prevention research, he reviewed expert studies about coffee and found that it can help reduce the risk of certain types of cancer and other diseases. And here's what the research revealed. Drinking coffee lowered the risk for type 2 diabetes by, get this, 22%. And people who had more than two cups of coffee a day had a nearly 70% lower risk of liver cancer, a 50% lower risk of colon and breast cancer, and a 30% lower risk for thyroid cancer. Simon just reached for another cup right there after I said that. <laughs> also had a 30% lower risk of developing Parkinson's disease compared to non-coffee drinkers. And coffee, get this, helped reduce the risk of certain neurological diseases like dementia. And Professor Safe that says that there's also evidence that drinking coffee can help you actually live longer. He went so far as to call coffee almost a miracle drink. Wow. Do we know what it is that makes coffee so healthy and can you overdo it? Yeah, important question, right? So there's a lot of research, Simon, that still is needed to understand more about what makes coffee a healthy beverage. But here's what we do know. Coffee contains many of the same ingredients found in parts of the Mediterranean diet, which also has been found to lower the risk of some cancers. Now, regarding neurological diseases, right? And I'm, I'm always worried about this for my patients. Experts say that caffeine in coffee helps boost production of the brain cells that are involved in movement and other functions. The research also suggests that polyphenols Big word, right, that found naturally in coffee can help reduce inflammation, which is the common cause of disease. And finally, coffee increases your body's metabolism, which can, of course, add to its health benefits. Now, just like anything else, right, moderation is key. Don't drink that gallon just because I said, you know, it, it reduces some stuff. Too much coffee can lead to adverse side effects such as heart palpitations, insomnia, sometimes acid reflux. Another important factor is how you take your coffee. This is important for people like me and Simon. Experts say you get the best health benefits from drinking drinking it black. Mm. So you don't don't say I'll have a little bit of coffee and like this much cream. In fact, get the, the cream and the sugar. So My right. man. Yeah. Now they just got to tackle coffee bread. Right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Nandy. My pleasure. And if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or on X. Glenda.